and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a quick tips video. Quick tips for screen printing. Alright, and this is another video that was kind of inspired by the forum recently and also in the past I've been asked this question a lot and that is the palette lines that I have on my palette, the little crosshairs and marks. Well, everybody keeps asking me, you know, what are those for or how do you do them? Do they have specific markings? Are they specifically placed? Or what's the deal with the markings on my palette? So today, I thought we would take a look at that. Now, first we gotta peel off, I use palette tape on my aluminum metal palette. So the first thing I gotta do is peel off this palette tape and then I will put some new palette tape on here and get ready and we're gonna show you uh, how I do the crosshairs, all right? So let's pull this palette tape off really quick. Basically, what you're going to need is a, a ruler, straight edge ruler. You're going to need a T-square or a square type of thing like this here. And I use two different markers. I use one skinny one to mark and one to draw the lines. So uh, basically, the first thing you got to do is get your center line. Okay. So all I'm going to do is measure it out. This palette is 16 inches wide. So I'm going to measure a, an 8 inch mark in the middle and I'll measure it all the way down so that I can do a straight line like this. Okay, and at this point I'll use my my thick marker and here you kinda gotta make sure that the thickness of the marker isn't going to goof you up. Meaning that you want the thickness of the marker to be centered as well, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's the center line. That's like one of the only lines that I measure. I don't measure any others, except maybe sometimes when I'm doing a crest print, sorry, I dropped my other marker. When I'm doing a crest print, a lot of the times then I'll split this side into four, because now it's eight inches here. So I split this side into four. Okay. And then I'm going to have a mark for my crest prints if I have a job with crest prints. Okay, and as you can see, this is not, it's not rocket science here, what I'm doing. And it may not even be perfect measurements and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we're just trying to get the general placement. So, uh, you know, because each t-shirt goes on the palette differently, this is really not, it's not critical. It's just that we want to try to get the screen lined up to the palette and have the design square to the palette and centered on the palette and everything. So, um, you know, so that when the shirts go on, you know, there'll be little minor fluctuations, but uh, it's going to be generally straight. All right. So now for this, basically all I do is, is I use my square and this is the hard part to do. Hopefully I want to drop that. This is the harder because you got to really make sure that you have this squared up and don't move the thing when you're drawing the lines. Don't move the ruler part because it'll move. All right, and then uh, just out of sheer laziness, what I've been doing instead of, you know, getting a longer T-square so I could go all the way across, uh, I, just, I just have been doing this. So I'll just take and then this side Okay. And then I just do that and all the way down. And the reason why I go all the way up, oh, see, I'm trying to screw one up. The reason why I go all the way down is because if I have a design that has some text down here and some text up here, uh, then I can use lines down here and up here to center it. Or maybe it has an arched text up on top and straight text on the bottom. So if I have some lines down here, 
Let's see if I could do this without goofing these up. If I put some lines down here, then that way I can use the entire grid surface. Okay, and this marker is actually not really, it's not doing so well today. I don't know why, maybe I gotta replace my marker, but sh you know, the, the blacker and more dense your crosshairs are, the better it's gonna be because you will grab a screen like this. Okay, this is the whole idea of it, is we're gonna put a screen in here, bring down the print head, and look, I, you see that? You see how you can see all the lines through the, through the emulsion, clean emulsion? Okay, so this is what I'm doing here with this, with the crosshairs and the grid, all right? And my off contact, nothing's set here, so I'm just gonna put this flat on the palette so you could see the lines. And then basically I would just, you know, use this to, to center, straighten the straighten the the text out put the triangle in the middle and another good reason for having multiple straight lines across is because maybe if they're not 100% accurate you can look at some down here you can look at some up here and you can get the gist of whether or not your thing is your screen is centered okay so basically this is a one color I would just center it in, lock it in the head, and I'd be good to go. If this were a multicolor, this would be my key printer or my black printer, and I would go ahead and line it up to here, and then I'd probably, you know, uh, continue to set up all the other screens to that one. You know, I've, I've showed you the multiple color setup and stuff. So, all right, so that's it for the crosshairs. That's all it is. It's really simple. There's there's nothing to it. There's no secret formula behind this. There's nothing going on here. It's just a center line, a half center line, and then parallel lines across, and that's it. You're good to go. So that's it for today. As you can see, the crosshair marks or the palette lines as people call them are very simple it's just a grid system it's just a crosshair system that allows me to visually line up a particular screen to one palette and basically once you line the screen up to that one palette because your press is a precision piece of machinery it's going to be lined up to all the other palettes right so that's why we only use one on one palette is all you need uh, and uh, like I said, there's only two measured lines and the rest of it is pretty arbitrary. And you can make your grid pattern how you like it. It doesn't have to be like the one I made. You can make it a little different. You can make it to custom fit your palette or to custom fit your needs or how you work in your shop. The general idea is just that the palette lines are squared off to the palette so that it acts as a crosshair for your screen. Okay, if you have any questions about that, I think it's pretty simple, just put them below. And don't forget, I need your support. If you want to see more and more screen printing videos to come for years to come and years and years and years to come, then I need your support. Please rate thumbs up, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe. Hit the button, where is it now? You know, YouTube moves it all the time. So if I do like this, then maybe my fingers will point to it at some point because YouTube is always changing everything all the time. All right, I think it's down there right now. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, and I really appreciate that. It keeps me going, keeps me motivated, gives me the power online to help keep going. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, before we go on to drawing the... Uh, the, um, the, um, the, um, uh, the, um, 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 the